Gotham Prasad. All right, so I was a clown at the circus for two years, and I still am a clown. But uh, this was a couple years ago, and my second year on the circus, we got in a new acrobatic troupe from China. And uh, it was all women, actually. The whole troupe was Chinese women. And um, so I was in the show, and, and there are all these girls there, and uh, I see this one girl, and she's just gorgeous. She's absolutely beautiful. And she does this act in Ring 3 all by herself. She's amazing, like really flexible. And I'm a yoga instructor, so like I can appreciate flexibility. And uh, so I kind of, I was really attracted to this girl. And, um, but I didn't know, well for one thing, and this is actually, this was a, a big deal for us while we were together. It's, um, it was against the rules for any of the Chinese girls to date American guys because the Chinese acrobats were like heavily funded by the government and the government didn't want any of their girls running away with Americans because then they can't make money off of these girls anymore. So they weren't allowed to date, right? So I was kind of treading in some strange water here. And, uh, and I didn't know how to approach these girls because I didn't speak any Chinese. But uh, one day we were on the bus, we had a bus that would take us from the arena to our train. And we all lived on a train, big train together. And all the clowns had one train car, and all the Chinese acrobats had their own train car, and the train cars were like 30 cars apart. <laughs> and so, uh, so we, had, we were all waiting for the bus, and we're sitting on the bus, and one of the Chinese girls is in front of me. And so I thought, well, let me, let me try to start talking to this girl. Just, I'm just going to try. This isn't the girl I was interested in. This was someone else, right? So I just kind of start talking, you know. I just said, hey, how you doing? You like America, all that stuff. And, uh, and she didn't understand a word I was saying. And she starts talking to the other girls, right? And then the next thing I know, I turn, and this girl, that, the really hot one, is sitting right next to me. And she's the only one who knew any English. So they wanted her to translate. So she's sitting next to me, and here I am, I'm talking to this girl in English. She understands everything I'm saying. And uh, that was sort of the beginning. And uh, you know, I used to do yoga backstage in between shows, and she saw me doing yoga, and she started doing yoga with me. And then like, we would just start talking and flirting around, and uh, we really liked each other. And um, one day my friend Brandon, one of the other clowns, he actually spoke some Chinese because he loved languages and so he learned Chinese. And um, he said, oh, guess what, Su King, her name was Su King. He said, it's Su King's birthday on Friday. I was like, oh, really, it's her birthday. And he's like, yeah, she's gonna be 18. I was like, well, I didn't even know that she was that young. I thought she was like 23 or 24. So I've been flirting with this 17 year old Chinese acrobat who was turning 18 in a couple days. Uh, but at least after a couple of days, it'd be legal, and uh, it was. And anyways, we started dating, and we were dating the whole year, and we were like in love. We were just, we had a great time, and like I learned to write the word love in Chinese, and I would uh, scribble it on a piece of paper, and I'd pass it to her backstage, because we were supposed to keep it a secret. No one could know, because she could lose her job. They could like deport her back to China or something like that. So we were always like, hiding or we'd like sneak kisses backstage and uh, she would sneak into my room at night. Uh, she had a key to my room and the rooms were tiny. The room was like, like there was a tiny bed and a little bit of like floor space and you know, I mean she was an acrobat and I do yoga so we kind of had to get physically creative with how we uh, used the room but we could do it. Yeah, but you know, it was a year and it, the end of the year started to come, and uh, and so it was pretty, you know, she had to leave, and I really loved her, and so I told her I wanted to be with her, and that I would come to China if she wanted me to, and she did. And so, uh, you know, we were kind of making preparations, and uh, I decided I was gonna learn to teach English, and I was gonna teach English at a Chinese school and uh, figure stuff out and just kind of see how I'd make a life for myself there and for us. It was, it was like the second to last night before she left. I was gonna go up to her and say, look, Su King, I love you, but if you wanna break up, if you wanna move on, I'll, I'll understand, at least tell me so I know. And before I had a chance to get that out, she looked at me and said, I love you, I wanna marry you once I turn 22. So I was like, all right, wow, this is the real deal. This is like the one I'm gonna be with. 
And so, you know, she went home like in October, and then a couple months later, I went out there, bought a plane ticket. I had like my little English teaching certificate, everything. I was ready to go. And I got there, and it was pretty clear once I got there that things were rocky, something wasn't right. And, uh, and so after the first week, we're kind of not communicating, we're not connecting. And so I said to her, look, I feel like something's wrong, something's not working out. I feel like you're disconnected and you're angry and mean towards me. And she, anyways, it was clear that we were gonna break up. And uh, so I went up to her and I said, uh, you know, Su King, I feel like you wanna break up with me, but you're afraid to do it. And she said, yes. And so we broke up. And so the next day I left China I left, I was like, see you later. And um, on my way flying back home, I, uh, I had like a, a really long layover in LA and I called up my buddy and said, you gotta pick me up at the airport. I'm having a really hard time. He was one of my best friends. And so I was like, I really need to talk to you and just see you and I'm talking to him, I'm telling him the whole story, everything that happened. And um, like John, you know, I just loved her so much. I wanted to spend the rest of my life with her and now I'm distraught and he said you had sex with an 18 year old Chinese acrobat for a year shut up so I did <laughs>